Chart plotters are wonderful. Perhaps the biggest step forward in navigation since the GPS was invented. But they do have some major issues that are dangerous that nobody seems to talk about. The biggest issue is that when you zoom in, you lose perspective of where you are in the body of water. And when you zoom out, you lose details that are required for safe navigation. This means to navigate safely in shallow water, you need to zoom in to see full details such as the depth soundings and proximity to dangers in the water close ahead. Now the only problem is, in this close-up view, you do not have the overall situational awareness to determine if you're on course, so you need to zoom back out to see the surrounding areas, resulting in a constant zoom-in, zoom-out yo-yo effect. This is a limitation of the screen sizes and a compromise on the amount of details that can be shown at the various scales. Even if you pre-planned your route and check it for hazards, when you are sailing you will tend to tack off your course significant distances that will take you into areas that may have wrecks or rocks or other obstructions. So it's always important to double check the course ahead while you're actually sailing. Failure to carefully check the course ahead has resulted in the loss of boats at sea as it did in the case of Vesta Wind and the Vova Ocean Race. Although both the navigator and the skipper check the chart plotter, both failed to zoom in far enough to see the reef ahead, although it was clearly on the charts, but missing from the higher view in the navigator they were using at the time. This is detailed in the independent report into the stranding of Vista Wind, available online. I'll put the link below. Another tragic example is the schooner Aldebaran on San Francisco Bay, July 4, 2013, ran into the breakwater going to their home port. Simple misreading the chart plotter resulted in them hitting the, the breakwater at high tide. They're, they have a GoFundMe page and I'm sure they would greatly appreciate any contributions to get them sailing again. More than 15 years of navigating coastal waters have taught me the simplest solution for this problem. Multiple chart plotters at the helm. Having multiple chart plotters at the helm completely mitigates the issue and provides redundancy. I use three chart plotters to give me simultaneously full understanding of all the close approaching dangers, the depths, as well as the overall situation awareness at short, medium, and long ranges. This also gives you the assurance that your fixed shorn on the plotter is correct. All three chart plotters should always match, showing your position approximately the same. There are many parts of San Francisco Bay that seem to have reception problems with GPS. Although these areas seem to have shrank considerably the last few years, there still are a few. To keep up with the technology changes, it's easier to buy smaller inexpensive units and replace one every five years and retire the oldest of the three. This gives me the latest technology with updated charts while maintaining redundancy and a familiar interface of the older units while I get accustomed to the new unit. Having multiple plotters allows me to work on one chart plotter to look at details, plan routes, or change configurations while still having all the other chart plotters showing me where I'm at so you're not flying blind while you dive into a menu system of one of the plotters. As you can see, the Gemini 105MC provides an excellent protected helm station to mount multiple units without interfering with your field of view. I really love having everything I need to safely operate the boat without, within the reach at the helm. Given the low cost of the GPSs today, I think it only makes sense that you should have multiple char plotters at the helm where the helmsman can see them and be able to detect navigation errors and adapt quickly to new courses. The old days of having the navigator below with an expensive chart plotter to do your planning are long gone and don't make sense anymore, although they still persist in offshore racing. 15 years of cruising and 20 years of racing have taught me that having a chart plotter at the helm is one of the most valuable things you can have to avoid running into trouble. Uh, let's learn from the mistakes of others and be safe out there. Fair winds.